Hello everyone, welcome back to Super Mario Brothers 5. This is once again a ROM hack of Super Mario World. Hey! I love the way that the, the developer here did the bullet bills. With them just like popping up like that. Like super fast and you're just like, whoa! Then the bullet bill shoots out. It's like, oh my gosh. I love it. Also, this one just... Maybe it's just the, like, coloring and stuff, but this reminds me of, like, Sonic Sega CD. You know? Whatever that game was. I don't remember what that game was called. I think it was just Sonic CD, if I'm being honest. I think it was literally called Sonic CD. But it just, it reminds me of the, some of the levels from that. Like the more futuristic, not really futuristic, um, it wasn't the future levels, but it was like the ones where you fought like Metal Sonic, you know? Like you had to race and fight Metal Sonic in a couple of levels. Reminds, kind of reminds me of those levels. If that makes sense. Oh, cool. I had a... Oh, right, because I hit the checkpoint. I was like, oh, cool. I didn't realize I had a mushroom. I didn't remember getting one. Yeah, that's because I didn't. Crap. I hit the checkpoint, and that automatically makes you big if you're small. I knew that. Oh my god, so many bullet bills, though. First they were bullet bills shooting out of trees, now they're just bullet bills shooting out of, I don't know where, but just everywhere. This is like that one level in Super Mario World where they just freaking... Where you just had to like run away from the bullet bills the entire level, you know? Let me guess, they're about to start doing the like, they come from everywhere on the screen now? Just finishing the level, okay. Oh, just the end of the level. That was a Valley of Bowser, I think. Ghost's Galleon, and there's a secret level. So I'm betting this leads to the Switch Palace. Oh my god, this is the... Hardest Switch Palace to get to, really, if this is the Switch Palace. Ah! I literally did not see any of that there. Ahead of time. Okay, maybe, I guess... The bullet bill launchers don't work underwater, so that's good to know. Whew! I was having to try and be careful with that, because I'm like, um... If I jump up at the wrong time, like, that guy's fire is just gonna get me. Hey! Like that! Ghost Scallion. Alright. An interesting idea for a level so far. I don't like this boo dude here though. I was trying to remember his name, could not remember. Still can't remember. Nope! This is why I wanted to unlock the treasure maze. Them gone. These levels are getting harder. As they keep getting harder at the rate that they've been getting. Like, I'm gonna want, you know, to have a, a means of 
Oh my god, steady life obtaining. You know. You have to like lure him away. Hey, wait! I don't know how to get around this obstacle. Like, what the heck? Like, he's a boo. I don't think I can hit him early on. Like, when he shows up here, he's, you know, he's not Lakitu. I don't think I can jump on him. I tried. It didn't seem to work. I don't think I hit him, even if I could have, but... It didn't seem like it was gonna work. This guy just hangs right around you though, don't he? Whew! Okay. I guess that was it. Yeah, he went away because now we're going inside of the ship. Oh god. It's like Freaking ghost house underwater with the freaking. The, this is gonna end up being very reminiscent of the Valley of Bowser ghost ship. I'm betting. Like the ghost buddies are probably gonna come out at some point. The ones that are like the background, but you have to still be careful because they like, appear and disappear as you go along. So there is a secret exit and a regular exit, so I'm really curious about that aspect. Oop. I don't know if I'm going secret or regular right now. I'm definitely not in the ship anymore. I'm under the ship at the moment. Let him go over me. Nope. Oh boy. <laughs> that was a tad scary. Okay, 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 I see, I see. There are red blocks up there. That means blue switch palace. So yes, this will lead to the blue switch palace. I'm glad I went this way then. I was very concerned. But yeah, so that was that's what I was thinking of right there actually. It was the going through the pipe underwater. Sweet! We did it! Bonus game! Time to get some one-ups, maybe! Would be great! Why?! I'm gonna miss one, I bet. Nope. Never mind, I missed three. Still a decent amount of one-ups. I have never won this stupid bonus game, though. One of these days I'm going to get that, but I never have as of yet. There it is. Blue Switch Zone. We can now go to Lunaria. Oh, there's the, uh, the Mega Man music again. He seems... The, the developer here likes this... Mega Man Jellyfish? Pretty sure those are Mega Man... Mega Man... Mega Men? Mega Man enemies, the Jellyfish dudes. Oh my god. I knew I should have gotten a freaking... As soon as I saw this was an underwater level I went, I need the Fire Flower. Oh god, I remember this part. I don't think I, I don't know how to make it through here without taking a hit. This blooper! Alright. Uh, we need the fire flower. 
Like, we need that fire flower for that level. I'm gonna go get fire flower from Pipe City 2. Start select, please. The select button doesn't seem to register most of the time. It's really annoying. Start. Select. I have to, like, really push down on the select. There it goes. <laughs> I only pushed select four, select four times there. Alright, now we can get through here. Because I've got fire flower and I can kill fishies. Fire flower is honestly like the most useful in underwater levels. Like the cape is nice, but I feel like the fire flower is just more useful when you're underwater. Because, you know, you can kill the fishies. Also, those are solid. Those are not enemies. So that's good to know. I did not lose the fire flower! Also, somebody can correct me if those are not Mega Man enemies. Mega Man enemies. I don't know why I keep saying Mega Men. The, the Mega Man. I have an amiibo called Mega Man, actually. A, uh, as far as I know, it's a Vine Sauce reference. Um, that's what I'm thinking I heard Mega Mang from was Vine Sauce. I don't remember. I know that I bought uh, um, Mega Man Amiibo. And I was like, well, you can name the Mega Man Amiibo. I'm like, Mega Mang. Mega Mang. The Mega Mang? Mega Mang. So you have to say it that way. The Mega Bang. I feel like that's Vine Sauce. Uh, a lot of stuff that a lot of my references tend to be um, Vine Sauce. Like the Rick and Morty thing that I did before was um, Vine Sauce. So Morty, er, Morty. And, I, and like I said, I can't really do a really good... Okay, suddenly I'm not underwater anymore. And that weirded me out there because... Like, I didn't expect to not be underwater. And so, I was like, it was weird. Like, the controls felt weird all of a sudden. Okay. I just go back to the pipe I came in then? Yep. Alright, well, this is going to be tough because I can't hold on to it. And Fire Flower. Where am I even going with this? Is this another boundary break? Probably not supposed to be up here. I think that's just boundary breaking. Okay, right there is what I use the P-switch on. I see it. Got it. And now we're not underwater again. It weirds me out when we switch from like an underwater level to not. Yay, the path to the Lenaria is open. The power of the switch you have pushed will turn the blue lines into blue into blue blocks. Path to Lenaria is open. Awesome. That was weird. I like moved and then it gave me that. Alright, Pipe City 4. It's funny though because I remember... Um, I was introduced to this uh, ROM hack by a friend of mine who did it. But like, he didn't go search for the Switch zones, you know? And so I was like, okay. 
Well, when I did, I was like, well, you know, I, I like to search for, like, the Switch palaces and stuff. So I, like, went searching for them. And found that, you know, the path to Lenaria is open thing. I was like, wait, Lenaria? What the heck is Lenaria? And then you get to Lenaria, and you're just like, oh my god. Like, this is probably the most amazing part of the freaking ROM hack. You know? How, how did you just skip this? It's like, oh, I just didn't feel like searching for the switch for, you know, all the secrets. I'm like, but this is awesome. Admittedly, you know, we didn't know that that was there either, so. And I'm not, you know, blaming him or anything, but it was just like, this is kind of awesome. Like, come on. <laughs> you know, go to freaking Lunaria next time you do this. So, but now we have Lunaria open. So, I will definitely be able to show you guys Lenaria. Um, I might go, like, open the path to Lenaria via, um, like, hitting the secret zone, but then not go into Lenaria until we get, like, later on in the game. That way, the Lenaria is kind of like the, the ultimate. Like, it, it'll probably be, like, the secret ending, you know? Like, I'll do it right before the actual ending of the game, you know? Especially since I do know that Lenaria does lead to the actual end of the game. It's, uh, it's similar to Star Road in that aspect, that you can use it to get to Bowser. Um... Except that it's different in this one because it takes work to actually unlock the, you know, Star Road type area in this one. So, boop. Dang it. I don't think there was anything in these boxes, but, well. I just hurt myself trying to, uh, to check. Boop. Boop. Oi! I forgot that that was going to come right back at me. I should have pushed down because then I would have slid. And I would have killed him. Sorry, I was really focused there. That's why I was like really quiet. I was really focusing hard right there. Okay. Good to know. Well, you know what? I think this is a good spot to end this episode off at. I do hope you enjoyed. If you did, please feel free to subscribe. Feel free to check the video description down below for a link to the playlist so you can get caught up on any episodes you might have missed. And I'll see you guys next time. See you later.